welcome to BRP 2013 and I'm sitting here with the new Summit XM. This thing is unbelievable. One of the things you'll notice about this sled, first of all, just standing on it, look how easy this thing rocks back and forth. And I'm not kidding when they say it's easy to tip over, look at that. And I weigh a buck 30, so that's pretty good. Well, the new XM has the same steering system as the free ride, so it's an inch further forward. In about an hour of work, you can take it back if you want to run it like the previous model, Summit. It also has a brand new grab bar, which is nice and stiff, so it's awesome. Brand new gauges. Check out how small these are, the RER, your high and low beams, and of course, your heat and thumb grips are down here now, so unreal. Your gauges face upward so you can read them. And now you've got this awesome storage for gloves, goggles, and they're heated. Super cool. I'm also holding in my hands a very cool item right here for Dan Treadway. We all know how redneck he is. When he goes out hunting, this is the headlight he can add right underneath his regular light system and it more almost triples the light that's coming out of there. Those here will be frozen in their own footsteps. Ready for the shot, Dan. All right, so everything for the uh, the body panels has all changed a lot. One piece, a lot smaller design so the snow moves around it, and it also is designed so that the sled can tip easier. The door is very tight against the body, so it allows the, the machine to tip easier. Of course, you've got the new clutch cover. Don't cut this thing out, it works amazingly well. I've been running a belt now for 1,600 kilometers. Looks brand new, and uh, your spare belt fits in here and your toolkit. Super nice job that BRP did. You'll also notice one of the coolest things is you now can go eight inches further on your front foot. So when you're side hilling, if you want to get over on the machine, you're now right over your steering column and check that thing out. Super easy to tip over. Check this out, 87% cutaway running boards. No more snow on your feet in those deep powder days. This also outside edge is made a lot stiffer and stronger. Good job, BRP. Brand new seat, look how small this thing is. And now the storage is still at the back, but it allows much more storage in a better way that just sits right in here. Moving back here, this is the link system. These, dri these holes are covered up right now, but they're pre-drilled, so you can put your jerry can or other bags back here, and the system just works amazing. So your jerry can just snaps into place, or a bag that you have, and lots more accessories are on the way from BRP. And finalizing this back end here, new LED tail light, super minimalist, and of course this really flexible, lightweight um, snow flap. All right, one of the things you're going to notice in 2013 as well is how easy this thing maneuvers and, and steers. The skis now have actually, on uh, last year's ski, the uh, axle was about here, and it's been brought forward now, which makes it just way easier steering. Well, you're all wondering what the T-Motion is all about. First and foremost, how this does is it allows the rails to move four degrees either up and down, how we are right now flexing it. And what allows that to happen is there's now a ball joint that where this T joint right here used to be. And, um, and then as you move forward, so here's the ball joint that moves back and forth. There actually is a split right here by the grease filler here. So it allows the rails to move independently. And these have gone for, instead of being round, we've squished them. So it allows for the flex to happen. Now what also happens in the track is where we had a 16 inch long rod that went right through the track, it's now been reduced to 12 inches. So now the outside of this track can flex a little bit. And some people are a little bit skeptical thinking that it won't hold a good line. I've ridden this sled and it's amazing what it does. It allows to just roll over so easy, it actually grips the hill better. And of course, it just stays right with you that whole way, no matter what type of sort of side hilling or uphill carving you're doing through the trees. Amazing innovation from BRP. Hey everybody, it's Stephanie Schwartz, Summit Freeride Ambassador. We're in Florida at Club Skidoo, and I'm standing beside a 2013 Freeride. You can take a few notices of some differences that we've changed for 2013. Let's start with this mountain bar, which is a little bit different. Uh, zoom in on the colors, Dave. These are one of the wraps. There's many different varieties of wraps that you can get customizing your own sled. But this base color, this green up on here, it's brand new for 2013. 
This is a sled of choice that I had this year, this season, and I can't tell you the points I loved about this were endless. This is a great boondocking sled for me, personally. Great for drops, great for jumps, great for trail, great for everything. This is one of my favorite rides of the year, for sure. Check this out. Skidoo doesn't make just great sleds. We're making some great outerwear. And this year, in 2013, they're directing it towards us ladies a little bit more. Standing here with me is the Helium 50 for ladies, brand new for 2013. Made Sympatex, top of the line material, dry, breathable, warm, perfect shell for riding. I've been lucky enough to wear this one a couple times this season and I'm in love with it, so check this out. Also new for 2013 is the ABS bag. It is called the SB15, snowmobiler specific bag. So great placement for shovels, shovel handles, probes. That's new and again, we've got the ABS technology. So I'm wearing the new Helium 30 jacket. This is one of my favorite jackets. Sympatec waterproof, breathable, laminate, unbelievable jacket. It now has an offset zipper, which is really nice also with a lower collar and polar fleece wrapped around here so it's nice and easy on your chin area it also has padded shoulders not to just make me look huge but it's so when you're wearing your abs pack it comes right across your shoulders and it's a little bit extra padding hi i'm corey from aerocharger um, this is the uh, 800 e tech engine with an air charger kit on it. Uh, we worked with the 800 e tech engines because they're really strong engines. They make a lot of efficient power and they're extremely advanced. Um, and then for those guys that want extra horsepower at high altitude, we developed the system for them. Um, it's a very reliable system, it creates a lot of horsepower 240 horsepower at 7 pounds of boost. It's easy to install. Um, the whole thing bolts right on. Um, reliable, simple to tune. It's just a great system altogether. For some of you out there that are wondering how well uh, the new T-Motion suspension is doing with uh, turbocharged applications, a few of our racers have been uh, using it uh, that work for Skidoo and they think it's going to be very promising. It looks, it's a very good suspension. It's, it's, supposed to, it's leaps and bounds above what they've had before. Uh, you can come visit our website, aircharger.com or contact your local Skidoo dealers. All right, well, BRP making unbelievable helmets this year, and for those of you lucky to try the Advanced T helmet this year, check out some of the new graphic colors. This helmet is awesome, 1,240 grams, super light, all carbon fiber. It's got a Coolmax liner that's uh, washable, but it also wicks the heat and sweat and moisture off your head. And it's also got this reflective uh, sticker on here to reflect, anti-reflective so that when you're on, the, on those bright days, you don't get that reflection off your visor. But just a super nice helmet. Check out the new jerry can. And guess what? No more useless straps to tie this bad boy to your sled. It goes right into the link system. So basically it slides in this way and you just turn this and it's attached to your sled. Another awesome idea from those crazy engineers at BRP. Hi, my name is David Tedro. I'm an analyst in marketing for BRP. And today I'm going to present you a really nice machine, the Tundra Extreme. The Tundra Extreme is well known in Quebec on East Park, but not that much for you guys in the mountain. And you have to know that piece because that's a neat machine. First, we can start with a really narrow 32 inch ski stance on DS ski, the well renowned DS ski as you know it. And also, what it make it particularly really neat is that belly pan. It's worked as a ski, it's, it's so efficient on snow, it stays on top and it glides perfectly, so it's so fun to ride. A cool machine, a cool 600 HO E Tech, strong power, a high riser block, good mountain strap. Narrow Revex PX seat with a little storage area in the back, a big cargo, and it all sit on a nice 154 inch track. So 154 inch track on a Potter Max two and a quarter inch. It also has that really nice S SC5U articulated rear suspension. What how it works the, the articulated suspension is when you, you, you get stuck inside inside um, a, a hole, you can go reverse with the RER button and, you, and you're just gonna go out of it because the articulation will jump high like that and you'll be able to go out of the hole. It's really easy like that. And you can even lock it if you don't want it to activate it. 
and when it's cool, electric start. Awesome. For those of you who don't know, I was conceived on a sled. Did I look this cool growing up? No, I didn't. But if I had a little grommet myself now, this is what he'd be wearing or she'd be wearing. Check out the new cool prints from Skidoo for our kids lineup. All right, well, these uh, balaclavas aren't just for robbing banks anymore. We've got some sweet, uh, sweet sort of prints on them. But these are what you need, not only for mountain riding, but for trail riding. I never thought I'd wear a balaclava, but uh, when you become a sledder, they are one of the best things to keep your head warm and uh, prevent getting frostbite on your cheeks when you're ripping along the trail. So what I have on here is the Absolute Zero vest. I live in this vest. It's in the touring section of the catalog. But man, as a mountain rider, this goes underneath one of my shells. Made of Primaloc, which is equivalent to down, for those of you wondering. And obviously on my head, I'm sporting the beautiful toques from Skidoo in multiple colors. I'm not hot, the vest is hot. You're hot. <laughs> All right, for you Flatlanders that love to rip or ditch bang, this is the new MXZ with the Rev XS chassis, brand new. It's got 35% more opening in the running boards, whole new front end. It also has the glove box. We've got the link system back here and a course bar motion, which you can adjust super easy with gloved hands. This sled is going to be a ripper. Hey, and for you racers, we have not forgot about you, or you want to be racers. This year, in the new Snowcross shell, we've used Symphitex. What better place to test out Symphitex clothing than on a racetrack? You guys are subject to roost, weather, climate changes. You know, here it is, race collar ready for those with the Liet, ra Liet braces. Also, you can't forget the matching pants. Or the base layers, or the beanies, or the hats, or the jerseys. Just for you racers, or wannabe racers. Well, there you have it, the 2013 lineup from BRP. Let's get the hell out of here, staff. Yeah, great for the whole family. Well, there you go, Skidoo for 2013. You probably wonder what we do all day. This is basically it, eh, Steph? Cheers. <laughs>